Did you know? About 60% of known human diseases are zoonotic diseases. Zoonotic diseases are diseases that spread from animals to humans or from humans to animals. They are transmitted through direct contact of saliva, blood, urine, mucus, feces, or other bodily fluids of an infected animal. Indirect contact such as touching areas or objects that are contaminated with germs. Waterborne from ticks or insects such as mosquito or flea bites. Food such as vegetables that are contaminated with germs and water that is contaminated with microorganisms. Each gender has different susceptibility, exposure, and response to zoonotic diseases, especially pregnant women, young, and old people. Research found that women are more vulnerable to zoonotic diseases than men, based on socio-cultural roles in animal production, with that two-thirds of 600 million poor livestock farmers are women, including Cambodia. So why should we care about this? Let's hear our story. There is a family of farmers in Cambodia. Nid is a wife and Sak is a husband. They have three children. Based on jobs in the family, Nid cooks, takes care of the poultry and cattle, and looks after the children, while Sak has a job outside the family. With net daily work, she may have more risk of zoonotic diseases from animals, for example, even influenza, that she has in contact with while feeding and slaughtering for food if animals get an infection. One day, a group of health workers comes into the village to raise awareness about zoonotic diseases. However, Nid cannot attend due to many jobs at home, thus requiring Sack to participate. This story outlines a few issues of gender inequality, which are the roles in the family and how the roles limit getting social education by women about zoonotic diseases. How or what should we do? We can do the following. Promoting the good animal husbandry, vaccination, and biosecurity in animal production in communities based with focus on gender involvement. Promoting food safety measures to reduce the risk of zoonotic diseases that spread from food which could have risk of direct and indirect transmission from animals and animals' products with gender involvement. Promoting the zoonotic diseases awareness through gender involvement in a way where there is social, culture, belief and ethnic acceptability. And last but not least, set out policies and actions to prevent and control zoonotic diseases by women engagement. Thus, let's create gender into the fight against zoonotic diseases to create gender equality and even health world.